I'm your host, Jeff Zart. We're going to take you behind the scenes with the craft distillers who are pouring their heart and soul into crafting the next version of America's Spirit. This is the Great American Whiskey Cookers. What makes any distillery decide on the perfect proof point for their whiskey? How does that decision get made, and more importantly, why? Well, we sat down with Ryan and Kenny at Pursuit Spirits, and we asked them that very question. It might surprise you as to just how they decided that 108 proof was the perfect proof for their whiskey. I mean, there was a, there was a pretty funny story about even how we got to, to 108. Yeah, how did you get to 108? I mean... It, you guys have hung at that proof point. Uh, we've, we've definitely put our hat on it, haven't we? Yeah. I mean, it's, but to be fair, when we drink a lot of whiskey at home, we usually find 100, 110 is a sweet spot. That's that's my sweet spot. And as I'd mentioned already, when we started doing this blending, we were doing test blends back and forth. We were adding water. We didn't know what the proof was. We just knew what it tasted like. We knew it tasted good. Yeah. And thankfully, Ryan, I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. He's the, he's the poster child of Bardstown over here. He's the- <laughs> I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm just kidding. But you know, he's, he's, he grew up in Bardstown, so he knows uh, a lot of people in the industry. He has a lot of friends. Went to school with a lot of people, and thankfully he's good friends with Drew Colesveen, who's the master distiller over at Willett. Sure. And he just calls Drew up and says, and as I'd mentioned, we don't have all the equipment and all these big distilleries do. And it says, can we use your equipment to, to proof it and see what we have? And that's when we found out it was 108. And then we made another blend after that, didn't know what it was, went and proofed it again, and it was also 108. And I think we just realized, well, 108 is just really what we love. Right. Yeah. We feel like it's the perfect proof point for our whiskey. It still has a lot of barrel characteristics, but it's not going to overpower your palate as barrel proof was. So it appeals to a, a wide array of consumers that were trying to p appeal to new consumers, but also, you know, whiskey geeks and people just want a really good flavorful expression and at a really good price point. Sure. And the other thing that was also, as we kind of mentioned, proofing our whiskey with our whiskey is that when we take the, the 119, the 120, and anywhere between 99 to 105, put it together, we are adding a lot less water. So our cash strength typically is around 118 to 120. So we're not adding a ton of water to get to that final 108 proof, maintaining a lot of those barrel characteristics, a lot of that flavor that's really coming from those barrels. Yeah, very cool. a lot of bottles that we get sent to like to take you and taste from everybody obviously we can't get to it all so like right this is the the bottles that we try to for whiskey quickies and reviews and then we have a whole nother of i'm sure calls and stuff that get sent to us so we got enough bottles for about, about 10 pandemics 